Okay. First, I will be going over the pre-production stage, as to which I would implement having the students going over um, a worksheet. For in this case, I don't have a printer, so I wouldn't be able to physically print out the worksheet, but I found images online. So what I would do is have worksheets like these printed out for the students, and I would have them point at the objects that I name out. For example, can you point to the fire truck? The students would point that out. Um, they could circle it or anything that makes them feel more um, in tune with the assignment. Um, you could point at the flower, point at the bee, point at the paintbrush, etc. As for the early production stage, I would have them watch a video in class. I feel like it's a little bit more fun for them. Um, specifically um, with numbers or colors or alphabet or even like small phrases or words that they could start to work on. Something that I found is a video that actually demonstrates colors. So I would have this video playing and I would have moments where they specifically say certain colors and I would pause the before so they could shut out the colors. So this is where I would pause it and I would have them shout out the color. So red. I'll pause it again, have them shout out the color. If there is any point in time as to where um, the children are struggling to remember the colors, I would pause the video, I would put it aside, and I would have them practice. So if we're going to do the rainbow, for example. There's red, there's green, there is yellow. And with that being said, when that recognition coming, then when I play the video again, hopefully they are able to make a second guess and get it right this time. So for stage three, there is speech emergence. I work at a school and for Saturday school, they're starting to implement more like story times with the kids. And uh, there was a book that we read this Saturday and I actually really enjoyed it. It's called How to Catch a Leprechaun. Um, after we read the book to the children, they were able to actually write their own story. So basically what the story is about is children making their own trap to catch the leprechaun um so when our kids were going to write their own story they were able to draw a picture of it and then on the other side they were able to write about the trap what the trap is how it works and i thought that was very good not only because they're making sure that they're understanding what they're reading but they're also able to be creating enough creative enough where they could make their own story so this is a layout of i that i found online of the same book that i'm talking about so right here they're able to draw their own picture and then right here on the other side they're able to talk about the trap itself and that's something that i would do with the so students for the final and fourth stage there is speech fluency so for the fourth and final stage there is intermediate fluency which um what i would do if i had my own classroom is before they even come into the class i would already have the lesson planned out whereas i what i would do is for example pretend in the back here is a whiteboard where the cut the i obviously do my work i would draw out or have a layout of a map behind me and I would also have prep questions ready. Um, if there isn't like anything flowing, I feel like the perfect way to start is who, what, when, where, why, how. So I would ask them, where would you want to go for a trip? What would you want to do? Who would you want to go with? How would you get there? And um, 
with that being said, that would be my layout of the questions that they would answer. I would pass those out to the the students. And um, something else that I really like doing is um, sharing. Why? Because I feel like it gets them more excited. It makes them actually want to do the assignment because they know that they have to present it in front of the class. So like, it makes them want to do it even better. Um, and also, I feel like it's interesting for them to share to other students because they're sharing, they're listening. Or like, oh, I never even heard of a place like that. Oh, I never even thought of something like that. So that gives their more creativity, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's what I would do.